In this video, I'm going to cover the five things you need to know before deciding between Clap and Opus Clip. Thing number one, price. Clap starts at $23 a month when you pay annually and has two other tiers that allow you to create more content. These plans start at $63 per month and $151 per month when you pay annually. They say there's no hidden fees, but they do have these little icons with some extra information you might find interesting. If you choose to pay yearly, you get all of your uploads provided all at once. So there's the possibility of running out of available uploads before the end of the year. But they also say, need more? Let's talk. So there's obviously an option to upgrade. If you pay monthly and don't use all your uploads, they don't roll over to the next month. So there's that. Opus Clip starts at free. Yes, free. Obviously, there is limited functionality, but if you want to try it out or don't need a ton of shorts, it's a really great option. Then there are three other plans that allow you to create more content. These plans are a little confusing though, so let me break it down. The starter plan is $15 a month, regardless of whether you pay monthly or annually. The pro plan starts at $14.50. Wait, let me see. Yep, 50 cents less than the starter plan when you pay annually. If you pay monthly though, it starts at $29 a month. The last plan is a business tier plan that doesn't include pricing. They obviously want to push you to do an annual pro plan, but there's one catch that I think is important to understand. Like with Clap, you'll get all of your credits for generating content up front at the beginning of the year. My guess is they're banking on you using all of the credits early and then needing to pay for more as you go. So, you know. Keep that in mind, I guess. If you know you're going to make a ton of content, though, you can purchase multiple packs up front. What you need to know is that Clap's pricing is based on uploaded videos less than 45 minutes long, while Opus Clip's pricing is based on credits, where one credit equals one minute of video processing. This means that a $29 a month plan from Clap gets you seven and a half hours per month, while a $29 a month plan from Opus Clip gets you five hours per month. The catch being, with Clap, you don't get access to your full seven and a half hours unless every upload is exactly 45 minutes long. This means that Opus Clip's pricing model is probably a little more economical in the long run. But if that still confuses you, go check out Opus Clip's calculator to get an idea of how much you'll get. If you want to save 30% on Clap, click the link in the description and use code RED11MEDIA at checkout. Thing number two, key differences. When comparing these platforms similarities, it's easy to get confused about what would be the best choice. So it's probably easier to look at their differences. Clap has two unique features. One is the option to download 4K files, and the other is the ability to translate your video into 29 different languages with AI dubbing. YouTube has been rolling out dubbed videos for creators in the YouTube Partners program. So being able to get your video dubbed here is a great option. YouTube will automatically dub your video, but you won't have the opportunity to regenerate or re-edit the YouTube dub like you can with Clap. Opus Clip, on the other hand, has several more unique features. You can work with teammates on one account, and you can import videos from 10 different sources, including YouTube, Vimeo, Google Drive, Zoom, and others. Similarly, you can upload to more platforms, including YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, X, and Snapchat directly from Opus Clip. You can also provide instructions for Opus Clip to choose shorts using their AI Copilot. You can track the analytics of your shorts, and probably the most interesting one for me is the option to download an XML file for use in Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve. Why would I find that interesting? Well, thing number three, performance. Let's talk about the performance of both platforms. They do an excellent job of creating a lot of shorts relatively fast, especially when compared to pulling shorts from long form content manually. However, when compared to the speed and control of editing video in Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, or Final Cut Pro, it feels like the platforms are both moving glacially slow. I tried to adjust the length of a video in Clap and had to wait between 30 and 60 seconds to see if I liked the change or not. Opus Clip is faster at changing clip length, but I still find the controls a little finicky. Making small incremental changes is not what these platforms are best designed for. But like I already mentioned, Opus Clip can export the shorts as XML files to use in Premiere Pro. I was much more comfortable fine tuning these shorts in Premiere than I was in Clap or Opus Clip. While we're talking about performance, I wanna mention that one of my videos failed to process while using Clap. The same video worked on Opus Clip. However, Opus Clip isn't immune from processing failures. 
Depending on how your video is structured, the AI system can struggle to find relevant or clickable content with both Clap and Opus Clip. When that happens, you can try and upload the file again or just cut your losses. So does that mean that these platforms don't create good shorts? Thing number four, quality. No, that isn't the case. When they pull shorts, which is the majority of the time, both platforms create really good edits. In my tests, I found that both platforms pulled interesting parts from my videos and did a good job of adding compelling captions with relatively accurate spelling and punctuation. Opus Clip liked to get a little more creative with the edits, cutting out sections and reorganizing things. This provided the benefit of punchier edits, but it also often created harsh popping sounds at cut points. Did it feel like a scam? Did you get excited right away? Were you nervous? What were your thoughts? It did not feel like a scam. Hey, I get all kinds of offers for text to speech. These can easily be cleaned up, especially if you're finalizing the edit in Premiere Pro. While Clap wasn't as creative, I found that it typically did a better job of creating a cleaner edit with fewer popping sounds or jarring cuts. There are obviously pros and cons for the quality of content created by both Clap and Opus Clip, but do you have to sacrifice on creative control with either platform? Thing number five, creative control. Clap and Opus Clip provide a ton of options for you to have creative control. You can change fonts and colors, add AI-generated B-roll, reframe shots, add additional photos or video, and customize the style of your captions. I think where Opus Clip edges out Clap is in the ability to export the project as an XML file, giving you even more creative control. So does that mean Opus Clip is the best option? Which platform is best? I think that both Clap and Opus Clip have a ton of great features, but it's easy to see that Opus Clip has significantly more features. If you're a creator looking for one tool that can do it all when it comes to repurposing content, Opus Clip is the right option for you. I mentioned it several times, but being able to export an XML file is a real game changer. With that said, during my testing, I personally kept finding myself drawn to the sleek interface and polished edits of Clap. The clean interface helped me get right to work, and I felt like the internal editor was a little more intuitive than with Opus Clip. While I like Opus Clip's ability to download an XML file to fine tune and edit, I like Clap's ability to provide a ready to go short even more. I wish that Clap was a little faster and that I could export an XML file, but other than that, I think it really holds its own against Opus Clip. If you wanna support this channel, there are affiliate links for both platforms in the description below. But which do you think is the best platform? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.